All right, so I got this idea. I was like, okay, well, all these planets are going to be leaving permanently from Destiny as far as we know. And I have not really fully explored these planets. So I kind of want to go through them all and uh, just kind of see what they have to offer starting from the top to the bottom. So we'll start with Mercury and we'll finish on Titan. I haven't looked up like if there's any cool little areas that these uh these locations are hiding or anything. I just wanted to hop in and just kind of roam around and see kind of what's going to be gone, man. What we're going to be missing. It's definitely definitely kind of crazy, you know. I've been been playing this game pretty consistently for the better part of you know three years and these planets they're uh <clears throat> they're gonna go and i saw like a theory that basically like all these pyramids are gonna actually destroy these planets they're not just gonna vault them they're actually gonna like make them not areas we can visit again because they're actually gonna like fucking destroy them so um yeah so I've never gone back here, so we're just gonna see if uh, there's anything cool. Oh, what is this guy doing here? Look at that. There's a uh, a region chest I've never visited. See, I'm already happy I did this, dude. I would have never in a million years known that that was fucking down there. Even if that's the only surprise on this planet, I'm still glad I did it. What's this? Can I inspect it? No? Okay. Yeah, man, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, I'm glad that they're bringing a bunch of new, s or uh, lots of the old stuff back. Pretty excited about it, but at the same time, you know, this, um... This game, you know, it's not going to be the, uh, the same, and there are going to be people that join... The Destiny franchise never experiencing Mercury and um, Mars and Titan. I'm not missing much on Titan. I kind of really hate that planet, but. I've literally like never explored around this place. This is what's over here. It's just crazy, you know, like you run through Destiny so fast. Like they they make all these locations, right, that you really never visit because you're just so focused on you know, completing your strike or whatever it might be, you know? Um and yeah, that's especially true with Nessus. Like I I love to explore Nessus. It's such a cool planet that has so many cool little secrets and areas to explore that I just get lost in and uh, I have not done that on any other planet so I think there's a lost sector down here let me go check it out I don't know, Lost Sector's over there. I just I want to see if there's something over here, too. Doesn't look like it. It just sucks they didn't do more with this planet. I actually think this is one of the coolest looking planets. Out of all of them. Uh, just because, you know, the sun effects and... And uh, I really like deserts, so I kind of like the aesthetic of this planet. And uh, it kind of sucks that I didn't really do much more with it. The Infinite Force was cool, but, you know, um, even that, they really kind of 
I could have done so much more with it, you know? <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done this lost sector before, so this is going to be a first for me. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of wanted to record all this and just so I have it. Guys, it's kind of crazy how busted these war mine cells are when you really think about it. Assuming you're the boss. Oh, hello. Is that everyone? Yeah, I literally don't think I've ever done this lost sector before. Just crazy. Hmm. Pretty cool. <sighs> I wish I did the um same 14 quest. I don't think I ever completed it. Cause that was such a cool quest. As well. So I could have just hopped up to the last sector that way. That would have saved me a lot of time. Well, I think that's pretty much it for Mercury. Mercury's definitely the uh the DLC was definitely the I think the lowest point for Destiny 2. I mean Destiny Vanilla um Destiny 2 was pretty bad as well, but only once you beat the campaign. I mean, there was, there wasn't much to do once you did, but, um, at least the campaign was pretty badass. But yeah, you had you had Warmind, which, um, or whatever this DLC was called. It was uh it was pretty boring. The story wasn't great. I know the Saint 14 quest was pretty cool. My brother did it. I watched him do it. It was really cool. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to do on Mercury. Sadly. Um, I know there's a, like a public event that goes on here. Obviously the strikes. Um, But, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's it for Mercury. I think we go in here. It takes us to Brother Vance. Sometimes I think the, Cyrus would be better served by the lighthouse. Holy shit. Oh, the lighthouse is going to be destroyed. Osiris did have a vision of it being destroyed, but it was by a Vex mine, not by a pyramid, but... I wonder if that's going to have some implication. This, I forgot what they called it, but it was basically like these, they weren't pinnacle weapons, but there's special, spe special weapons you could get by completing tasks. Um, and uh, they weren't very good, so I never got many of them. I got like one of them back on console. It was like a variation of Vision of Confluence, and that's why I got it, because I really like that weapon in D1, so... That's the only reason I really got it for D2, but yeah, that's it for Mercury. Let's go to Io. Now, Io, 
I guess we'll start here, then here, then I guess there. Fuck it. I oh, dude. Lots of memories on IO. Um, I remember the first time I really watched like a pro Destiny player was when the Whisper of the War mission came out. Um, my brother and my friend Chris, they were super into like speedrunners and world's first completions. That really never interested me. I was more into Call of Duty at the time. Um, but I watched Modern Tryhard, uh, I watched him do, I don't know if he was first, but he was definitely one of the first to do the Whisper of the Worm mission, and I was like, holy shit, that looks dope, and to this day, that is one of my fondest memories of Destiny, was doing that for the first time, and just how hard it was, and just... I mean, it was, it was so freaking difficult. It really, really was. And, uh, let's go kill this guy. It was just so much fun, you know? Oh shit, I'm dead. 100%. Oh my god. I was just trying to get my rift down. I was going to sword this guy, but, uh... These guys have other plans, bro. Shit. Damn. Got his ass. Yeah, dude, I, it, there's so many cool little things, like, here we got, like, this was the last place that, whoa, something going on down there, it used to not have, like, a beam, it was the last place that the Traveler settled before, um, it went to where it's currently staying, <sighs> I think there's another spot over here, I don't, I think it's over here, like Ikora's like old I trust you remember what spot where she used to study and over like the city oh, there's so much so much cool stuff over here I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah, there used to be like a portal over here. I think it was right here. Where if uh, you wanted to start Whisper, you had to like kill something like a high value target. And then uh, it would spawn the portal I've heard rumors that the Exo were created to fight a war against the Vex. We should ask Cade if he knows anything about it. Cade's dead, ghost. Cade is dead. Poor guy never made it. What is this? This is cool, dude. Like, there's nothing in here. But, like... I don't know. If I was a little-ass kid, bro, like... This would be my spot. My, it's my, uh, little safe space. Whoa. What is this?
guess that's one way to get around. I've never used any of those little portals. I used to get so lost on this planet though, because like everything looks the same. I used to get so fucking lost. I used to come over here to farm something. I used to like kill, maybe it was taken. Uh, I used to like come over here and just kill whatever it was like repeatedly. I forget for what it was for though. That's why I want to do more YouTube videos, man. So I can like, I don't need to remember those kind of things. I can just look back at them. Arbiter, my boy. <clears throat> Look at that, we're completing bounties, dude. I used to do something over here too. There's public events I used to do for something. I don't know, man. My memory's so bad when it comes to stuff like that sometimes, and I just wish I would have had recordings of it. Cause it's crazy, man. Like this planet, it's gonna be completely gone, and those memories are already fucking faded, you know. And it's not like I can. Go make new ones on this planet. That ship has sailed. Oh, this bitch died? Lit. fuck come on ghost where's my light tell me I can go back here but there's nothing hmm like a like a mine or something You little bitch. There we go. Jesus. Ascendant realm readings in spades here. Down the line, this could be another one of those weird portals. The Taken are so strange. I doubt it, bud. Doubt they're taking that any further.
Which way did I come in? Assuming from up there, I... Th Wait. No, I came in from over here. I, I just went up there and there was like nothing. Right? So what happens when my mind starts to wander, dude. I get lost. What does it mean when my little ghost lights up like that? Does it mean I could activate something? I've never really folk like noticed that before. This is dead. Like, is this as far as I can go? I go all the way here for nothing. That's upsetting. I guess I am pretty much on the brim. Alright, well we did Lost Oasis. We'll go down here real quick. Speak to Mr. Asher. Experiment tonight. Do you need something? No, not really. Yes, yes, go. Do not test my patience. I used to, uh, whoa, hold on, what is this, that's kind of cool, you've ever gone down here, <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely something going on, hmm, This is the rupture up here. Okay. Yeah, I remember. I'm going to take you guys to the spot, but. There's a lost sector. That when Forsaken came out, there was uh, these things called. Like, wanted enemies. Um. And it was the very first week, and it was the first one. And I think it was down here. I could be totally wrong. This should be the one. But regardless, I actually, uh, I always come down here, and this is how I would farm, like, taking kills and stuff. I would just go to the thralls down here, because there's basically, they just spawn infinitely. And I would, uh, just kill them. Um, you could also go to the Whisper mission and go to the Thrall room, which is how I got like my Whisper of the Worm catalyst and uh, all sorts of other guns, catalysts as well, Izanagi's, basically all the snipers. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, I was like super, super under leveled. It took me like an hour and a half, but I ended up beating um, the wanted enemy who is so beyond my light level, dude. It was cool. It was like the first time I ever like did like a ch like a challenging thing in Destiny solo. Um, basically, what I would do is I'm gonna clear this area out real quick. 
real quick so I can show you guys. So basically, I would uh I would come in and there was a he was like a big brute and there was like a huge like shield right here. Um and if he was inside of there you couldn't do damage unless like you broke the generators or something like that. So um what I would do was he he'd spawn these dogs and these dogs were like super super powerful. So I discovered I think it was this rock. It might have been like up here. Yeah, it was like right here. I I discovered they couldn't they couldn't jump up, right? Um so I would basically just jump back and forth between like this rock and then like up here. And I would uh, I would do damage. Um, I had to be careful because like the boss would be roaming and he would do damage to me. So that's why I was just bouncing back and forth. If the heat became too much, I would run outside, and I would get the dogs to come all the way out here because they I don't think that they would come past this point on the rock. And so I'd do damage here um, until they like walk back or something, and then I'd follow them and I'd go up and I'd do damage, and then it was basically this whole like. Thing that it was the first time I realized in Destiny, there's just it's just a bunch of like patterns, right? To do encounters, it's just patterns. Like you just have to find a strategy that works and just kind of do it over and over and over again. And then it would get to the point I take the generator after I kill all the dogs and I like beat the shit out of the generator with my hands or something, something because like your guns wouldn't do damage, they had to punch it to death or some crazy shit like that. Um, it was a long time ago. It was like, was that literally? Yeah, that was year one. So no, Forsaken. So that was year two. So yeah, that was 2018. That was two years ago. But I remember that was the first first time I did something. I was like, holy shit! Like that was pretty fucking rad. <laughs> you know, uh, I was definitely under leveled. It took me like two hours to do it, and I failed a bunch of times. But I was like, you know what? Like. I'm gonna fucking do this and I fucking did it. So it was really cool. Um We're gonna hop into Whisper really quickly. I'm not gonna actually do it because it's a pain in the dick to complete. But just for sake of of um showing it off over here. Okay, I definitely think out of all the planets are leaving. Well, let me see. What else is leaving? Mars? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Io was definitely the one that I spent the most amount of time on. I mean, this is the, the super room where you got your super in the original campaign. And you come in here and you defeat a bunch of enemies. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this build on. But basically, yeah, you just hop up here. Pop across here. And, um... I'll run through a little bit of it. I'm not gonna go through the whole entire thing, because... That's way too much work. Yeah, I just remember seeing this, um... Modern try hard do this and I was like holy shit like this is this is cool because it wasn't a raid you know this before dungeons it was like just a cool like encounter and it was a, one of a couple really cool exotic quest lines um this is the first one and I think this one is probably still my favorite um just because it was the first I never really thought that destiny would do something like this you know it was like just a total secret um they didn't announce it at all you know just people discovered that you could go through that blight that i was talking about earlier and um and you could do this and it was kind of cool you know nobody knew the path um, back then, you know, so that, that was why, you know, you watch Modern Try Hard, 
as I watched his video and I was like, holy shit. And me and my brother tried it and it was super fucking hard and we failed a lot. But uh, when you finally got it done, dude, it was super cool. And this whole part was just so annoying because you had to tilt your head because it's all offset. And uh, I don't know. It's really cool. And I'm glad that uh, glad that they added something like this. And it sucks that it's going. Because there are going to be so many people that aren't going to experience. I mean, unless somehow they keep it. I just don't see how, you know? Oh. Oh. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get through all this, dude. Ew, it's a bitch and a half to to get through. God damn it. I actually did this not that long ago. I was playing Crucible and this guy saw that I was a streamer and he um he DM'd me and was like, hey, could you carry me through the Whisper mission? And I was like, yeah, dude. Um, again, you know, stuff that I wish I was recording for, but I didn't, I didn't start recording till like just recently. Yeah, there was a like chests you could get that you had to get um, all of them done in order to complete um, the challenge to get Whisper Catalyst. Um, there's a jumping thing. You have to like, go up there, then go up there, and then basically you have to come all the way around and up, and uh, then we discovered that you could do this. <laughs> Uh, you do have to do the jumping puzzle for the catalyst on the whisper though. That is something that uh, you definitely cannot miss. But yeah, there's all these all these uh, secret chests. I think there's another one over there. Which is a really cool like there's like references to Vault of Glass. Um it's just really, really cool that they did something like this, you know? So this part was, this is just the maze to get to the boss, right? Now this is where shit becomes really hard and this is where I'm going to leave. Because it's really difficult to do by yourself. And I'm really not trying to do it. To be honest with you. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible. Um, you can do it. There are tons of people that solo this thing. Honestly, I could solo it. Um... I pretty much did when I was doing it with that guy, uh, but it's just, it comes down to the wire and it's just so not worth it. But yeah, there's another room just like this one uh, once you get past this room and then you get to uh, to the boss room and you have to kill like X amount of bosses. Like I think it's like four bosses. Um, and then, and then you get Whisper of the Worm, which I already have, so don't need to uh, get it again, but there it is. Whisper the worm, baby. Got the catalyst right there. This is such a cool weapon. It's kind of useless now for most things, but really cool. I really need to get anarchy. I don't know if I'm gonna though. That chrome looks sexy. Okay, well that's it for IO. Let's go to Mars. <clears throat> so after IO is Mars, which is probably I mean I played on this one the most out of the ones that are leaving outside of IO. Um just because there's so much more to do on IO, but uh, Mars is a close second. It has one of my favorite um, strikes. I like the Zol strike. Um, I don't know why. It's just, it's always been a really fast, kind of fun strike. 
that I enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, escalation protocol. You know, that's uh, something that I don't know if they have it on other planets. I think that they do. They just call it something else, but I don't know if they're going to continue it. There's a lost sector over here we're going to go do real quick. Definitely remember doing um, this lost sector a ton. It's just crazy, man. It really is. I mean, this is years spent doing stuff like this, and it's just all gonna go away. You skip a lot of it right there. Skip past a lot of bad guys. A lot of guys that are a big pain in your ass. Buddy. Oh, I don't have my super. Yikes. Ako Taco. So there's that. Um, go visit Anna. There's really not that much exploration to be done on this planet. Um, that's what I kind of noticed with these later DLCs. Um, like these smaller facilities, they're basically like strictly business there's very little exploration involved it's just a hub for strikes and adventures and stuff like that but this is Anna how are you liking the Valkyrie I wish we had weapons like that at Twilight Gap yeah dude totally um but uh she uh she's gonna be coming with us on beyond light so she's not getting that's another thing is I don't know if they're gonna kill off all the people that are from those planets. They very well might. I mean, they don't serve any purpose anymore in the over overall story. You know, they really haven't since the base game, so. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Um, yeah, like I said, there's really not much to do. In most of these places, outside of just doing the strikes, like the main strikes. There is a little janitor's closet though. No snakes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well apparently it's not an actual rendered thing. Am I crazy or is there like a, is there a reflection? Oh, I thought it was maybe like one of the little worms. But yeah, I mean, this is, um, this is pretty much it. else to see here I guess we can maybe run through it real quick but 
Yeah, it's kind of just a... Oh, I don't think you can go that way. It's kind of a meh planet, to be honest. I like the strike on it. I think the Zol Strike's really fun. Um, I do like the snow. Whenever they do have snow. Um, something I'm looking forward to with, uh... Beyond Light. But... I don't know what this cash unlock progress is, dude. I keep seeing it everywhere. Every time I do stuff. I don't know what it is. How many shots take? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. If I go through here, that's where Rasputin's at. But yeah, that's about it. Really nothing too exciting. You can't even get up top. Wow. But yeah, that is, um, that's Mars. I mean, there's a little bit more to the left here. We can go check out real quick. <sighs> so if you go this way, um... This is the start of the Zol strike. Or Nocris? I think this is Nocris. Yeah, this is Nocris. Um, this was a bitch and a half for the Grandmaster Nightfall, dude. That sucked. It took me and my brother. It took my fire team fucking way too long to beat that man. It was so annoying. Oh, well, there's nothing really to see here. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back out. I think if we go up this way, this way is a little bit cooler. I think there's a couple of things up here that are kind of all right. I could be totally wrong though. I did not spend much time exploring these places, which is why I wanted to do this in the first well, in the first place. But at the same time, I really don't know. Okay, yeah, there's a different way of coming here. Yeah, this is this is the Zol Strike entrance, but it's not. Is it typically snowy? I don't think it is. I mean, I could be high as fuck. I mean, I know it's during daytime, not like whatever day of time this is. Um, but yeah, that's um. There's a couple adventures to do over here. They spawn some barrels and shit. Overall, pretty meh planet. Um, you know, again, that's why it's on the chopping block. They're really not um, throwing out that much. You know, outside of the Zol Strike, which I think is kind of cool. Knockers is okay. It's Knockers. I call it Knockers. I don't know if. I don't actually think it's called Knockers. It's Knockers, but we call it we call it Knockers. Even though Nocris is a boy. Um, yeah, so that's that's Mars. Let's go to... So it's just Titan left, right? I mean, they're keeping Tangled Shore, Dreaming City. <laughs> yeah, so... Start a Siren's Rot. Watch. This is where uh, Miss What's-Her-Face is Sloan.
It was a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be, but I don't know. I'm having, I'm having a good time going down memory lane here. Visiting all these planets, although Titan is definitely my least favorite, dude. It runs like shit because it's raining all the time. Like, just the, the frames you get on this planet are horrible. I mean, I have a 2070 Super Core i7 2700X, whatever the fuck. I got a pretty beefy computer in it. This planet. It's a pain in the ass, but I mean, there's really not much here, dude. I mean, um. Okay, clearly I've never been here before. Yeah, it's n it's not great. Uh, it's just pretty boring. They didn't do anything cool with it. Um, you know, I did spend a lot of time here at this exact spot doing public events back in the day whenever the flashpoint was on Titan, and I had to do only like the one of two. There's only like two fucking public events on this whole goddamn map. Um. One really cool thing about this place. Actually, this, uh, that's not true. There are a couple of really cool things to do with this. Uh, if you stare at the ocean long enough, uh, you can see a sea monster. Which is kind of cool. A little Easter egg. Um, really cool thing they did on, did on this planet. Oh, you can also... Uh, do I have a sniper in my inventory I can find? Uh, you can... Barely fucking see it. That's the dreadnought right there. From Destiny. The original Destiny. That little tiny speck right there. That's the dreadnought. So that's really cool. Um one of my favorite things they did with Destiny too was uh Cade's like um I forgot what they called them. They're just like caches, like hit journals, I guess, is what I think what they called them. Um they were just like audio logs and that was on Titan and you'd go through and you'd hear basically the last words from Cade that we ever got, which is really sad um, and really cool. Oops, didn't mean to shoot. Um, so that was really cool. They did uh, another really cool, you could see like a hive god, like worm thing. On one of the, the, I think it was a strike? Or maybe it was the story mission. I, it was probably the story mission. Yeah, it was a story mission. You had to take like the, the core, like the CPU for the, whatever the facility was or whatever. And you had to like grab it with your hands. But if you, if you, if you waited for just a minute and you just stood there, um, you could see a huge, like hundred plus foot, um, like thick boy. Um, like sea creature, the just his shadow. It kind of looked like Zol. Um, just like creepily swimming across the glass, which was also really cool. Um, basically, like that's you know, there's theories that it's that's like one of the hive worm gods, like Zol. Um, that are basically like the the gods of the hive fucking species um so that was pretty cool um they did lots of cool lore stuff with the planet they just didn't do much actual content with the planet you know so it sucked to play on there's a lot of really cool stuff here though um that i'm not going to be able to show you because it's all not accessible for just running around um so i guess i'm kind of bummed that it's leaving because it's a it's a little piece of destiny that people aren't gonna experience again um uh, so yeah but i think that's it i think that's all the planets I'm not mistaken. Right? So we did Mercury, Io, Mars, and Titan.
I, I liked Mercury a lot more than I thought it was going to. I always say, like, this is one of the coolest planets that I wish they could have done stuff with. Nessus is still my all-time favorite. I just have so many memories of vanilla Destiny. Um, even Destiny 2, um, or, or uh, Forsaken, I would go through and i just play public events and try to get exotics. And uh, there's so many cool, like, places to explore in Nessus, but... Um, I'm excited to bring back the Cosmodrome. I think that's really cool. But, um, yeah, kind of sad to see these ones go. But, you know, it's, uh, it's another chapter in Destiny that, you know, it came and it's leaving and, uh, we're gonna have some new stuff. Some old and some new. It's gonna be kind of cool. So, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I really hope they never get rid of the Dreaming City. I love this place, so. Um, but yeah, guys, that was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, you know, if you come across this video and you've never experienced these planets and this is sometime in the future and you're seeing this and, uh, you never experienced Mercury and Io and Mars, hopefully I gave you a good taste of, of what the planets had to offer. Um, I thought about doing the strikes on these, but. Maybe we'll do that for another video. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully, like I said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. So, um, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that typical stuff. And, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.